And now to our investigation into that airplane part that fell off during a landing in Rochester last weekend. That's right. We've been revealing information about what happened all day long. Tonight, Chief Investigative Reporter Berkeley Breen can pinpoint where on this airplane this happened and why it could have happened. Burke? Yeah, Dana, it was a part of the airplane system that slows a plane down when it lands, and I'm going to show you exactly where it is. So if you were on a Southwest flight to Rochester last Sunday afternoon, this was your plane. When a Southwest airplane like this landed in Rochester Sunday, part of the plane's reverse thruster fell off on the runway. It was found during a routine runway inspection. Southwest reported it to the FAA. What do you think would cause a part of that to fall off? Um, it could be a number of things. John it, Cox it is the NBC News aviation safety expert. Uh, it, it, it could be an installation issue. Uh, it could be that there was a fatigue crack that opened the, the hole in which the, the component was resting. The reverse thrusters are at the back of the engines. When the plane lands, the back end opens up to create the drag that slows the plane down. Cox says each plane has four to six reverse thrusters. And all of them are held in place by multiple components. Last week, a tire fell off a United airplane. In February, I covered the sudden U-turn of a small plane in Buffalo after its hatch fell off. In January, the door blew off an Air Alaska flight. Now the Justice Department is investigating, and an FAA audit shows several failures of parts on Boeing airplanes. Here's NBC aviation correspondent Tom Costello on the FAA's audit of Boeing in January. It says that this incident should never have happened. It cannot happen again. There's a lot of focus right now, and understandably so, but um, I don't see that there is a negative trend in the safety of aviation, and um, I don't worry about it when I get on the airplanes pretty much every week. So we don't know yet if the Southwest plane that landed here in Rochester was a Boeing plane, but we're still trying to figure that out. The FAA says Southwest followed all the rules and protocols uh, and the part falling off the plane didn't, in their words, immediately impact the safety of the flight. Southwest said it repaired the plane before it ever took off, but it did delay its takeoff from Rochester. So if your Southwest flight out of Rochester last Sunday was delayed, that's why.